Hey guys and I have some exciting news for you all. What you are looking right now is our very first look to the brand new Samsung Galaxy M20. We already know that it is coming with a dual rear cameras and a fingerprint sensor. But there you have the disappointing part. Even the M20 will feature a micro USB port. And I was not expecting this from Samsung. At least M20 should have used the USB-C and the M10 with micro USB is totally fine. But M20 why Samsung. Another news is that the Galaxy M10 is not going to feature a fingerprint sensor so it's going to be less secure. Maybe Samsung is going to implement a face unlock to all these phones and that's nice. But there is no fingerprint sensor in the ultra low end M10 and it's quite disappointing because as compared to other smartphones in that same price range the Redmi Note 5 and Zenfone Max M2, all these phones have fingerprint sensor along with face unlock. Another major confirmation is both of these phones will feature an LCD panel and the Super AMOLED screen is only for the higher end Samsung Galaxy M30 and that's totally fine. Yes, there is a 5000mAh of battery on the M20 while the M10 gets a 3400mAh of battery which I think is also nice, not bad at all at this price. Okay, so now for those who are waiting for the Samsung Galaxy M30, the higher model, there you have an interesting news. It just went through Geekbench and it is indeed coming with the Exynos 7885 processor which was used in the A7 2018. And the best part is it runs on the Android 9.0 Pi but there is no confirmation if Samsung is still testing Pi on this phone so that they can push that OS later or they will launch it along with the Android Pi. So yeah, this needs to be confirmed. That's all guys, the latest confirmed news on the Samsung M series. Thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the below comment section and peace out.